Hey, Chris. Morning, Kat. How are you? I'm great. You're good? Yes, I am. Even though it's super early in the morning? Man, you know what? You got to get up early. <laughs> you got to get after it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so you're going to guide me through a new Jura machine. Jura, for those in the know. Yes. I like a hard J, but you know, Jura. <laughs> Jura. Yes, in Europe. Yes, yep. in Europe. Um, this is the F7. This is the F7, yes. So why don't you show it off to me? Okay. So this is their newest model. Mm -hmm. But like a lot of Juras, you got beans in the back. Okay. And that's almost 11 ounces, so a little over a pound. Mm -hmm. You've got your grinder by bypass. Okay. And you can do up to two drinks at a time with that. Mm -hmm. Water over here, super big, 64 ounces. Okay. Water filter in there, and that's going to take up about five ounces of capacity. So, okay. you know, the offset there, you might lose a drink. Mm hmm. But if you use a filter, you never have to descale. Nice. I know, because you know what I am? I'm a push button type of guy. I don't want to scale anything. I've heard you like to push buttons. I well, you've been talking to my mother, I guess. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then here's our little squirrel space. Yep. Okay. Your scoop for the bypassing. Bypass. Okay. Your grinder uh, adjustments there, so you mm -hmm. can go from coarser to finer. Um, it's going to affect your intensity a little bit. Okay. But also, if you have a drawer bean or an oilier bean, you you're going to want to play with that. Okay. Um, and then down here, you have a drag box, which. This is used. new. <laughs> Sassy little angle there. Um, and I mean, you know, look at that. Yeah. That's a pretty good looking puck. It is. It's very Looks compact. Like um, and same thing, internal brew group you don't have access to. Nope. That nope. kind of story. You're going to drop, you're going to use your bypass. Okay. To clean your grinder. You drop a capsule in there about every 200 cups. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, and now we've got um, two rotary, or it looks like this is a rotary dial or whatever. Why don't you explain to me what's going on here? All right, so here's your programmable buttons. Mm -hmm. And you can do ristretto, espresso, coffee, cappuccino, hot water. Okay. Wait, hot water <laughs> and milk. Oh, okay. I'm Just guessing manual. We'll find that out later. Okay. <laughs> Up here, um, you've got your rotary dial that lets you adjust your intensity before you select your drink. Okay. So you can program your intensity for each button, but mm -hmm. then if you have somebody come over and say, well, I don't really like it all that strong, mm -hmm. you can adjust it down to, you know, mild. Oh, and then just start right away and then, mm -hmm. okay. And then push the button and it's gonna make a mild ristretto okay. instead of a super hopped up ristretto. Super crazy mm -hmm. one, a cat one. Uh, well, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this is your maintenance button, so right. when the machine needs something from you, mm -hmm. it's gonna light up. Okay. You're gonna push that to activate it. I like to say that when you take a Jura out of the box, you get to tell it everything that you like about your coffee. <laughs> but after that, it tells you what to do. <laughs> Put water in me. Fill my beans. That's kind of a great relationship, it, don't you think? It really is. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Getting the perennial to the list. Um, do we have, how do I go through and program these guys? So you can do it a couple of different ways. Okay. Um, you can push and hold your center button here. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take you to the programming menu where you have all your cleaning functions, your programmable buttons whether or not you're using a water filter, mm -hmm. energy. And that energy. is just like a saving mode, like when it will go to an energy saving mode or something? That's when it will go to an energy saving mode. Um, you know, you can turn it to go off after a certain number of hours. And okay. since we're open all day, we'll, we'll just we'll leave it on all day. <laughs> okay. Um, and eventually this will give you really impressive numbers. It tells you how many, how many units you've made. We've made 14. 14. Yes, brand okay. new. And we're going to get out of there and That's out of there. Okay. Now, one of the other things that I like to do with the machines when I'm programming mm -hmm. is I like to use the back menu to program my intensity, my temperature. But when I'm, when I'm doing drinks, I like to program it on the fly. Oh, okay. Yes. And one of the really fun things about this is that you can actually say, I want a cup of coffee. And you're just going to push the button and hold it until it asks you if you've got enough. Oh, enough is enough enough. Um, it's never enough. <laughs> okay, so up in the programming menu, I can say, like, how much dosage and temperature I want. Right. And then here you can be like, all right, that looks good. And you can do a volumetric. Yes. Okay. Yes. And most people know how much coffee or how much espresso they want. But yeah. when it comes to milk, you don't know. Because yeah. it's going to differ depending on how aerated it is or how steamed it is, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just say we might want a little room for, I don't know, 
It's my house. Heavy whipping cream. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> you don't mess around. No, there's no screw down. Okay. Um, all right. And then you can you do the same, uh, I guess you do for both when you program this guy, like you program your cappuccino? coffee amount and then also your yep. milk you amount. It? Please. Okay. So we'll program it for this cup. Okay. All right. So I'm going to push this. And it's going to come up to steam frothing temperature. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to froth milk, not steam. Okay. Okay. Sorry. And it's going to tell us to open this guy. Whoops. We're going to get our cup underneath it. You know, even the pros do that. <laughs> um, and so this isn't technically a one touch because you've got to switch between the functions. Right. Okay. Right. You're, this is... you're having to move the cup and stuff. Right. Yeah. If I had a wider cup, a true cappuccino cup, mm -hmm. it would fit under there. The footprint would take up all three spouts. But, you know, a traditional cappuccino cup doesn't yeah. give you that really sexy milk. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So by turning off that switch over there, you've set now pre-programmed your froth, the desired froth right. amount. It remembers the froth. And now I'm going to push this button because I've got enough coffee. All right. And there's our cappuccino. It will remember that dose. Your cap. Are you going to taste it? Or your it? cap. Uh, <laughs> you should taste it. I should taste it. My yeah. hand work. Hmm? Taste it. How'd you do? It's got enough coffee in it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's hot. <laughs> Good. Want to try some of that? Yes, please. The glass isn't hot because it's insulated. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. That's like a crisp mm. glass. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It is very toasty. <laughs> See, okay. I want it back. Yeah. Um, and then, so as far as water is concerned, mm -hmm. do you just put this little spigot on there? Yes. Okay. The water's gonna go right here. So instead of steaming milk, you're gonna get a straight stream of water. Okay. Now, but no steam, no separate steam wand or no, anything like no that. This is only an mm -hmm. auto froth. Right. Okay. Right. Because, you know, in my house, <laughs> I need the ease of use. <laughs> <laughs> All I right. Even, I even made this look a little hard. Yeah, you did. You had to move the cup around <laughs> a little bit and okay, cool. All right. So that is the F7. Um, what do you dig about this machine, Chris? You know, like most drawers, I'm kind of att attracted to them. Okay. Just generally. I think they look really good on a countertop. Mm -hmm. I think that they have really nice cosmetics. Mm -hmm. You know, for a good looking machine, it kind of has that sports car grill to it for Got the it. tray cover. Okay. Um, and I think that they're super intuitive. Mm -hmm. You know, we just programmed these these drinks, but let's say, let's say we just have a three ounce cup here, right? Okay. And we want to make a cup of coffee that, well, it's going to be six ounces. Mm-hmm. I can actually tell the machine to kind of make it a little bit less. Oh, just right in that moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So somebody comes in and they're like, yeah, I want a lot of room for cream. Mm -hmm. I want a little coffee with my milk. You can adjust <laughs> it on the fly. You don't have to say, well, I don't even know how to interrupt that. I Got can't. it. I'll just turn the machine off, I guess. <laughs> ah, stop. <laughs> Let's go out for coffee. Yeah, leave now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you'd have friends like that, but if you did. Um, okay, cool. Is there anything you don't like about this? I know it's kind of new. Is there anything you wish it did that it didn't that it doesn't do? No, you know what? Like I said, it's it's a it's a good coffee machine with okay. occasional milk. Okay. And I think that for for as often as some folks like to host and make milk based drinks, mm -hmm. this is a pretty easy maneuver. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still really close. It's not like some of the older machines where you had to, you know, froth your milk on this side of the machine, move it yeah. over to this side of the machine, brew some coffee into it. Okay. So, um, I think that they've tightened it up a lot and made a really good evolution. Okay. Yeah. So for some, this is a great thing for somebody who's mostly drinking straight up coffee. I think so. Sometimes yeah. wants a, some frothing milk. And did you action. try the coffee? I did. It's pretty good, isn't it's it? It's very good. Yeah. 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 I love Jura shots. Pressure brewed coffee. All right, Chris. I want to congratulate you on your first video. Thank you very much. Thank you, are sir. Are you really excited that I didn't do this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>